Hello, I'm Jamie Tracy and welcome to my studio. I create bodies of work in painting and drawing and mixed media and I draw inspiration from the natural world around me as, and as well as life in the city here in Oakland, California. And my work is a mixture of landscape and still life and abstraction. This piece is about finding a place to disappear. And I did this as part of a series of looking at the underbelly of the forest. I was really interested in places where the hillside is falling away. And you can see in these understructures of, of the trees and all the creatures that live under there. I'm really interested in making very small parts of nature much larger than life and I do that to like examine structures and really challenge myself to find the intricacies and in everyday things that we walk by and this piece is a view of looking underneath the roots of a tree. I got this piece out because I was interested in having it to refer to while I'm working on my new pieces. I was interested in what I was doing with some of the color and the deep warm tones in the cavernous feel under the tree. And I was also interested in looking back at this like wrapping quality of the lines. A big part of my art practice is photography and I go out and take a ton of pictures and play around with compositions that help me frame something in the distance. And this piece I titled improvised aperture for a damp wind and I love the idea of like this weeds and dried up plant matter being an aperture or a window that you could look through into something further away and wind is another thing that is really interesting to me to try to capture through the brushwork. One thing that you'll see in my work a lot is a sense of movement in the way that the brush and the way the paint is applied. The last show was really a lot about water and even if they weren't literally real water scenes that there was a sense that even the abstracted forms were floating in liquid. I brought this piece back out because I was really excited to look at how the organic diagonals were working in the frame and sometimes I look back at my own work to not only make sure I'm not repeating myself but think about like what were some things that I left off in a painting and I might want to explore more in some new work. And so that brings me to the pieces that I just have started, yesterday and today. So I've, I've made a lot of work about the earth. I've made a lot of work about plant matter and done tons of work around like rocks and lichen. And this work is gonna be all around fire. It's an interesting time for all of us to think about fire as a beautiful thing because it's been so devastating in California with wildfires and with climate change. I've been really hesitant to even make a backyard fire because of our air quality, but it's beautiful. And I, I really am fascinated by the forms that are created. I started a little campfire just a few days ago to burn down some brush that we had. And it just was really interesting to watch something that was like a heavy object turn into just dust. And so the photos that I took were really like kind of far along in the fire when things were really starting to turn to ash and I just shot as many photos as I could then I took them into the computer and played around with cropping and these are the first three that I've started and when I'm at this stage of a painting I'm really looking for like what is the underlying structure going to be of the composition with this one that has the most present flames and not just glowing embers, see it like next to this one, like the last few years I've been painting with a lot of blues, a lot of turquoises, a lot of purples. That's really the way my work starts, is it starts with 
a fascination to learn about a color palette. You know, this is something I've always been curious to paint. And so what you're seeing here is like the very beginning of maybe a new body of work. And I'm excited to share with you a little bit about my process.